Concerted Royal Navy effort keeps constant watch on Russian task groups The Royal Navy, Royal Fleet Auxiliary and RAF have maintained constant watch on two Russian naval task groups passing the UK over the past seven days. Warships, helicopters, a support ship and long-range maritime patrol aircraft monitored the progress of two separate groups, one led by the newest frigate in the Russian Navy, as they sailed in opposite directions through the English Channel, one bound for the Atlantic, the second towards the Baltic to Portsmouth-based frigate HMS Iron Duke and tanker RFA Tide Force were activated to meet up with a trio of Russian vessels, centered on the Admiral Gorshkov-class frigate Admiral Golovko, which was only commissioned on Christmas Day last year, as they passed through the North Sea. The Golovko was accompanied by oceanographic research vessel Yentar and supporting tanker Viasma. All three had been tracked by the Norwegian Navy before British forces took over. The Duke-class frigate and Tide-class tanker both followed the trio through the Dover Strait and Channel before handing over monitoring duties to the French Navy. The Antar continues to remain in the UK's area of interest, with Portsmouth-based mine hunter HMS Catastock watching the survey vessels every move. AS the Golovko and Viasma continued their journey past France. Iron Duke took over shadowing duties of the second Russian group, frigate Nostrashimi and her support ship, tanker Academic Passion which were making for their home port in the Baltic. Iron Duke remained in contact with the pair back through the channel and into the North Sea before handing over to NATO partner, Dutch warship, HNMLS de Ruder to finish escorting them back into the Baltic. Throughout the week-long operation, Iron Duke made use of both her own Wildcat helicopter from 815 Naval Air Squadron, plus a Merlin of 814 Naval Air. Squadron based at Kuldros, an RAF P-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft and aerial assets of other allies as part of a carefully choreographed effort by the UK and its allies to ensure the transiting Russian units were closely monitored throughout. Having been heavily involved in this type of operation for the last six months, we're glad to be back at it, protecting the integrity of our territorial waters and critical national infrastructure, said Commander David Armstrong, HMS Iron Dukes. Commanding Officer, when we are detached to head to our next task, my team will have notched up their 11th escort, and I remain in awe of their selfless dedication. It's never more moving than during this period of national reflection surrounding Remembrance Sunday. It was a poignant moment conducting our own service whilst on task. No better way to honor our fallen than to do our duty.